Hey everybody, we're back in the kitchen today and Rainia is teaching me how to make a chicken cow soy noodle soup. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, well, guess what you need to get started with? Chicken. Chicken. I did boneless breasted chicken. I have about a pound here. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I cut it into really big chunks, but ultimately I'm going to remove it and shred it, oh. just so you, you know. Now, I'm browning that in a little bit of olive oil with some salt and pepper. You buy this in the Asian section. It's a Thai red curry paste. Okay. And what you want to do is take about a quarter of a cup, which is about a half of a jar. I can't wait to try this. We went to dinner a couple months ago and had a soup very similar. Yes. And it was so good. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So we're going to cook the curry paste into the chicken. Now I have here two large carrots, and if they're not big, go ahead and add another one. It's okay. We're going to add two cans of full-fat, unsweetened coconut milk. Okay. I love saying the Ooh. word full-fat. Full-fat. Full because they do mm. have it. They have no fat. Now I can talk a little oh, even I mean, it already smells really good. Oh my gosh. Selena, what I love about this recipe is not only how it tastes, but how fast it comes together. I like that too. It comes Quick, easy dinners. This is I'm so easy, it. baby girl. Mm. All right, so we want to cook this, and you see how the coconut, you know, you'd have to, it'll break apart. No worries about that. And now what I have here is a Thai oh, fish yes. sauce. I used this before. Mm -hmm. I made a really good soup one time. Well, actually, Mac made it. I did not make it, and we had to buy that. You had to buy that, so you probably still have it. We do. And you'll need three tablespoons. Okay, all right. Thai fish sauce. Next, you need some honey, about a tablespoon. And the last thing, mm -hmm. a good quality chicken broth, three cups. So you'll put a lid on this, let this cook on top of the stove until the chicken is cooked so it doesn't take long. And while that's happening, I'm going to have you chop up some bok choy. Look at that. Can you smell that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it looks so good. Look at that. See the shredded chicken? Oh, yeah. All right. Now, your beautifully chopped bok choy goes in next. Two cups. Mm. I should have used that, but it's the same thing. It's two cups. Got it? Yep. Let me show you how this works. So you don't add the noodles into that No. Now, watch what happens. This is so cool. Take your noodles and just sort of put them on the side. A lime wedge. Oh, here you go. And squeeze that. And, and how many of those serranos Ooh, do you want? I do like a good kick. How go about ahead. four? Throw them on there, kid. Here we go. This so, is going to be fun. <laughs> I need more of a bite. I'm going in. Oh, jeez. You do that. <laughs> Try to get some broth. That broth is amazing. I know, right? Yum! Oh. And today is the perfect day for soup. Oh, all that's like rain you read our minds. Even at this weekend, if you want to get the ingredients and start making it, have it for this weekend, ready Absolutely. to go. Absolutely. Yeah. So for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you right there.